Hey guys, sensitive beings out there. Uh, I want to give you this random reading. I feel this pull uh, to give you guys this reading. This can be about love, work, finances, whatever comes through, we shall let it come through. But it's uh, the right kind of guidance that you need to hear right now, uh, today. So this is very random. I don't even have any cards pulled here. So let's see what wants to come up. That is the right message from the angels and is aligned with you. Let's see. Angels, thank you. Thank you for being with us here and giving us the right guidance. Okay, uh, Archangel Samuel, open your heart to love. I love this card <laughs> and this photo and the energy that comes out of it. So definitely you want to call in Archangel Samuel if you want to amplify your love life. If there's something that you want to work on your li love life for, you know, there are, maybe there are some blockages or issues or something going on. There can be a special person or there is a special person coming into your life. And this is a message about that. Let's see one of the starseed cards here. Breath of the Cosmos. My will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. I feel that this, this card wants to say that you must not forget that you are always as an essential part of the universe. You are a child of God. And as a star seed, earth angel, human angel, you have to value that in yourself. You have to value yourself and accept this truth and always know that you're not here to just be suffering you are a divine creator so create go create let go of too much control let everything go that wants to go and welcome in what wants to come in that is aligned with you. Honor yourself. Honor God. Honor the universe. Because you are so loved and cared for. So there is nothing to be afraid of. Let's see one from here. Uh, cancel of light, divine orchestration, helpers in the subtle realms. I feel that this card wants to tell you to connect more with your spiritual support team. Um, know that you are one of the one of the light workers, healers, and honor that. Honor your calling, your life purpose. Know that everything is working out the way it should. So ultimately, you just need to pray and let go and relax and receive after you have asked consciously for, you know, what you want. And you have shown that to the, to the universe, what you really want. You have this support team around you. So accept their help. And of course, it includes God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Okay, then... I want to pull out another one from this Finnish deck of mine here. Okay, two cards popping out. Uh, life mission and a new beginning. So it seems like there is a new beginning in your life. Maybe you've been working on this for some time. That is healthy. 
it says here I leave the past behind and I ch and I start anew I start fresh so maybe that is really what you need and you've been working on this fresh start you deserve it and your life mission is found where your heart is rejoicing the most so what do you love to do what brings you joy what brings you enlightenment and peace and tranquility and harmony and healing so do those things do those things they are <laughs> intuitive nudges and messages from god from the universe from the support from from your higher self your soul it's all connected it's all love energy um okay let's do one from the magical life um your power your own power magical life is stepping out of the victim's role into <clears throat> owning your own power into stepping into your own power um, the events of your life are not an excuse to stay in powerlessness uh, but they are merely stepping boards uh, towards something better set your boundaries and hold on to them and what you feel that helps you I, I think there is a typo here it means what you feel is is right for you i feel that this wants to say um take what you can your power is already within you so let it rise up let it come up don't be hiding anymore don't be hiding your power your light yourself but embrace yourself with love and healing let yourself be yourself those are just what I'm adding here. <laughs> it doesn't say here. Um, we have a question. What? How can I? Um, how can I show my own power? So how can you show your own power to others, to the universe? How can you show to God that you are on the right path and that you are embracing it and that? You want to embrace your own power that God has given to you. Maybe think about it today. How do you feel when you feel powerless and what could you do about that? Because there's always something that you can do about it. You don't need to be victim in, in the victim mode, in victimhood, when God wants you to be victorious and healed so that you can also help and serve others. I think I will get another one. Ah, we have the flow of life again. Uh, magical life is balancing between free will and the flow of life, surrendering to the flow of life. You know, sometimes it, it's faster, sometimes it's about rest. Sometimes you are in charge, but then life is in charge. Don't resist what you cannot do anything about, what you cannot control. Follow different uh, life rhythms and dance with them. What can I surrender to right now and what can i take charge of so you are you you are the boss of your own life so what are these aspects in your life that you could take charge in and what needs you to surrender there's always something that needs us to surrender to it and there's always something that we should claim our own power in or at and you know to know that we're not powerless <laughs> and to trust what is coming and you know embrace it all to be in charge 
My vibes speak louder than my words. <laughs> Coming from the universe deck. So what what is your vibration like? What what vibration are you choosing today? For every day, are you conscious about your vibes? Because they have a lot of a lot of um, power in your life. Your energy, frequency, and vibration define so much in your life. What you are getting in life generally. So we always need to take a look inward if something is not working or going the right way. There's something that needs attention and maybe healing and choosing differently, making different decisions for our own well-being. Thank you for watching, subscribing, <laughs> sharing, liking. And if you want your own private reading with me, don't hesitate to reach out and book one with me. Much love to your day. Namaste.